Scorpios, welcome to Amanda Marissa. I am your spiritual baddie. We are here today to do your mid monthly reading for February, darlings. I'm sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles today. What do you? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know for February, mid February? I don't remember your February reading for some reason. I think it was fabulous. Most of the readings were, except for I think Virgo. They're going through it. But anyway, uh, Scorpio, let's get right to it. Mid-February, what do you need to know? There could be something that you are thinking about doing moving forward with. We have the page of states here, the page of wands, some kind of new idea that has come to the forefront for you that you have been thinking about. Let's get more on this. <laughs> You've really been thinking about how you want to move forward, <laughs> how you want to move forward and uh, moving towards things that make you happy and that give you your all your wishes coming true and your greatest, highest desires. We have the page of staves. It's like you're thinking about how it is that you're going to manifest this nine of cups, this complete and utter happiness and joy and fulfillment and just complete abundance and um, everything you could have ever wished for. This could be with somebody, this card is particularly like coupled up, but also the the world card came out and the world card is all about new beginnings. So uh, you have the page of staves here and then you have the major arcana, like there's a new beginning. I would urge you to move forward with whatever this idea, thought is, inspiration. Um, Definitely move towards whatever makes you happy. You can only be successful in that way, Scorpio. And you know this. I feel like I've said this to you. We have the Ace of Coins. It's going to be this brand new beginning that's going to actually allow for you to start building something in this 3D world that is going to be substantial moving forward. So this could be a job. This could be maybe you're moving into a new home that's just going to make you happier um, and starting over in life. But there's something here where there's going to be a new beginning that's going to actually allow for things to start manifesting for your greatest and highest good as far as things being tangible in this 3d world i hope that makes sense to you we have the four of swords here this particular four of swords is pretty violent actually the sword the cards in this deck uh, that aren't like a major arcana and stuff tend to be a little bit exaggeratory but this four of swords this is like you could have been like all up in your head for some time really coming from kind of a negative place um this could be negative self-talk and just really being secluded a lot of times i know scorpion scorpios can um seclude themselves pretty easily and get all up in their head. And I feel like you are overcoming this. I feel like this, whatever this new idea is, is gonna help to get you out of this kind of mindset and of being in seclusion. There's something here that you have been kind of hiding from or hiding yourself from. Um, and I feel like there's definitely been some hurt over the situation. The card that just fell out was the four of wands, which is freaking awesome. And then the two of wands. There's going to be a decision that you make, of course, and the Six of Swords. So with this Four of Wands card here, this is about stability. This is about growth. Like I said earlier, <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. excuse me. Like I said earlier, the um, there could be movement. I mentioned a new house. Uh, the Four of Staves is the 1111 card. This could be you moving into a new home. This could be just celebratory energy. You're celebrating this new beginning that's about to manifest. You do have the World card here. You do have two major, um, no, not two. You have one major arcana with the World. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Ace of Coins, the Two of Swords, the Four of Wands. I feel like there's going to be, and if you're looking for love, I feel like that love definitely is going to come your way. I did your love reading, so check that out. But I definitely feel like love is on the horizon if you're open to it. There's just too many cards here um, to show me that it's not on the horizon with the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups and the way the, the couple is. There's couples in, <laughs> in three of these cards, I mean. So I just feel like there's definitely going to be some kind of connection that's coming forward towards you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in love, but I definitely feel like it is uh, somebody who is of significant importance to you, someone who you really trust and value. Also with the four of staves, it is all about uh, celebration, building, community, uh, life, 
it's a happy card and so you have a choice to make and I feel like I said some of you guys are moving I feel like some of you guys are getting over a heart situation where you might be leaving something behind so it, it's like you need to make this decision on what's going to make you the happiest remember we start out with this page of staves and it's like a new idea a new beginning maybe the idea is you need to leave a situation person place or thing in order to have this whole new start and i feel like you are going to be leaving something in mid february scorpio and it's because it's going to be for your greatest and highest good you do definitely have a decision to make here with the two of ones so with all that being said, let's just get some clarifiers here. What else do we need to know to clarify the situation? Scorpios, you've had to be very strong. But again, we talked about with the four swords, this negative self-talk. I feel like the strength card is also about you changing your mindset and um, not falling victim to kind of the self-criticism that we can, we can have on ourselves. So I feel like you've also had to be strong, obviously, in other situations in your life. Whatever this is that you're leaving, I feel like this is a hard decision for you to make, which is why the two wands came up. You're, you're not sure which way to go moving forward. And the strength card is just here to tell you to do what's right for you. Also to try to help you to get out of this negative space uh, where you had taken some time out. So you're going to find that you're going to be very successful when you do make that decision. The Queen of uh, Pentacles is here and that's all about foundational success and having 3D items, homes, cars, money. Uh, so I don't feel like you're going to be needing or feeling like you're lacking money. Uh, your business could be taking off really well or your employment. Uh, you could be getting recognized with this 1111 card. Remember, there's pure happiness and joy in a whole new world here. We had the Nine of Cups. So um, there's definitely some success here, but there is a decision to be made before the success, I think, comes through. So it's going to be, obviously, it's up to you. Your discernment, your decisions, and divine timing, and whatever is right for you will come to you at that time. But you're in charge of what decisions you make moving forward. You're really going to have to go within with the high priestess here and um, use your intuition and discernment to make the best decision for you at this place and time. Uh, the high priestess also has some energy of kind of a secretiveness like there may be some things that you're working through with this four swords that haven't come to your consciousness quite yet so you're not completely aware of everything that's happening I think that's going to be becoming more aware to you in mid-February some of these situations and how important it is for you to make a decision sooner than later there is a ten of uh wands here this is about you leaving a situation putting the burden down you can see i i was talking about moving or leaving something there's definitely you leaving a situation for those who this message pertains to so if this if message isn't for you don't make it fit but this is definitely putting down the burden you have left you've taken everything that you can and you're starting over in this whole new beginning we have the four swords again so this is you taking some time out i feel like you've really tried to analyze the situation and what the best step is but now it's time with the two of wands to take action and move forward in the direction that you know is best for you the other card that came out is the four of pentacles wanting to hold on to things not letting go i can definitely understand that it's like look at this card everything in the background, hold on, let me hold it so you can see it. In the background, it's like this whole village uh, and she's just holding onto her purse. She's like, if I can just have this one thing, I can move forward. So I think you're gonna have enough funds. If the question is, do I, if I leave, will I be financially secure? The answer for you is yes, you will. We have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Four of Wands, we have a whole new world. It's gonna completely transform and change your life, just this one decision you make. But it's time to take Take action into that decision I feel like for you guys I don't I don't think I did this for the other mid monthlies I don't know but I am going to get a uh, Oracle card for you because I feel like it's important for you to have an Oracle card I don't know why but uh, I want to give you one so let's see okay what do you need to know for your Oracle card the thinking man something you've been doing a whole lot of thinking 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 uh, the thinking man, hopefully you can see it over here without a glare. There we go. 
is card number 46. It breaks down to a 10. I'm going to actually read it out of the book for you. The Thinking Man, Male of Wisdom or Understanding. This card shows a man standing before an archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is a thoughtful and reflective man, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life right now, or someone who's about to arrive very soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction, or they may be here to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. The card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming in your way or perhaps just a new male friend, but be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can, a new discipline, technique, course of study or healing practice could change your life forever. Hot diggity. I can't make this up. I, I've said that to you. Whatever this new inspiration is, it's going to change your life. Anyway, that's what it is. I think there's a affirmation. I am willing to learn from new things. It is safe and comfortable for me to be open and share. Well, I don't know what else I can tell you other than this most fantabulous reading. You have a decision, Scorpio. Uh, you have a choice to make. I know it's not the easiest choice. It, it shows it right here. It's definitely not the easiest choice for you to make, but you are going to have assistance and divine guidance moving forward. And so be open, be receptive, and know that you can have your happily ever after. It's here. It's written in the cards. <laughs> you have, you have the nine of cups, the four of wands, the world, the ace of coins, strength, the Queen of Pentacles, it just doesn't get much better than this. So you have the power to change your world. And like the card said in the thinking man, and like I told you earlier, this decision is going to be one of the happiest things for you, for your future, for your growth. It's just going to be freaking awesome. Congratulations, Scorpio, for making it through a difficult time and choosing you. Oh, definitely hit that thumbs up if you got any value. And if you want to be a part of this high vibe tribe, subscribe. And I have a private group that is free. Anyways, I'm sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles. And I wish you all the best.